So the Preschool Learning Center at Myrtle Grove Baptist Church offers a faith-based education program. We teach children according to Jesus' words in Mark 12, 30, where Jesus says, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. We offer child, we offer child care and education for children birth to five throughout the year. And over the summer, we also offer care for elementary age students. We are back and we are open. We have spaces available for all ages. If you're interested, give us a call at 455-3352 and we will get you set up. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Ellen Guerin and I'm one of the co-managers at the food pantry at Myrtle Grove and we need your help. The food pantry has been at Myrtle Grove for decades and uh, started out as a resource for church members that are in need and currently has grown to serving over 125 people a week on Tuesdays from all over Pensacola. We, uh, because of COVID-19, had to take the operations outside and dwindle down the number of volunteers, but we've always been able to share God's love and meet the needs of the community. And hopefully on July 1st, we'll be getting back into the building and situation normal. Um, right now, um, we have had many faithful people come through serving, some just once a month, but faithful servants over the years. And right now, because of the virus, we've had a number of volunteers having to drop out because of age-related health issues. Um, we're going to miss them, and you know who you are out there, and there are many crowns being heaped at God's feet for the faithful service that you've given us, and we're going to miss you. Uh, right now, uh, there's many places in the pantry that require help. We have, we need sturdy men to carry and stock groceries and, and do heavy lifting. We need people to uh, register our new clients and go over paperwork for eligibility. We need prayer warriors. We need people familiar with filing. We need people that are willing to take blood pressure and encourage people to make healthy choices. They don't have, you don't have to have a medical degree to do that. Just be willing to encourage them and point them in the right direction. And if there's somebody out there that has experience prior in managing the food pantry, I'd love somebody to come alongside of me. I won't put you in that position right away anyway. Um, our family at Myrtle Grove is family and our family at the pantry is family. And um, all of us desire to love God and love our neighbors as ourselves. And that's our only requirement for you. We will train you to do the rest of whatever God calls you to do. If you um, have questions or uh, want to talk further with me about it, I just ask you to be in prayer because God has put everybody that we need in the congregation. You have only to pray and see if you would be one of them. We want to serve God and we want to glorify God by reaching the neighborhood with the, with the gospel, both sharing and showing them. So please come and join us. God bless you. Hey, good afternoon, Myrtle Grove Baptist Church. It's uh, good to see you today, and I just hope you're doing well. It's been really great to be back in the services here the last couple of weeks together as we kind of have begun to move into the beginning of phase one, and now I guess we're going to be in, according to the governor, we're going to be kind of in phase two of phase one, or full <laughs> phase one, I believe is the, the term, but that's where we go from 25% capacity up to 50% capacity, so things will look a little bit different uh, this Sunday, but again, we'll be here worshiping together. I encourage you to come out uh, on Sunday morning at 1030 uh, for worship. Uh, that's 1030 for worship this week, and then hopefully on May 31st, uh, we'll plan to start our small group Bible studies again uh, at 915. Again, we'll be observing the uh, the 50% uh, capacity for rooms and classes at that time. So, you know, right now working out a plan as for everybody about what 50% capacity looks like for each room and if we might need to move certain classes to larger spaces or, or not, we don't know 
all the details yet, but I'll be in touch with our teachers uh, about that here or later on this week. Of course, also it'll be the beginning of a new quarter in June, so uh, the summer literature is here, teachers and, and, and uh, students as well, so I'll have that available uh, for you all. Uh, it's here in the office now. If you want to come by and pick it up from me, that's fine. If you want to go ahead and get that, or if not, though, I'll have it available on Sunday for, uh, for our folks to pick their literature up for the summer quarter. Uh, also, uh, earlier we had thought about uh, possibly doing business meeting on Sunday morning after service, but now on the 27th we'll also resume uh, a Wednesday night prayer meeting. So that'll give us an opportunity to meet in the, in the worship center uh, on Wednesday night at 6 o'clock for Bible study, but also on the 27th we'll have a church business meeting uh, that night as well. So again, I just encourage you to, to be here for that as we catch up on a few things uh, related to business, but also more importantly, we'll look at, into God's Word together. So again, uh, we're still working out the summer calendar and different things. Of course, we've uh, you know moved uh, Vacation Bible School uh, into July, July 20th to the 24th, rather than having that in June. Uh, just give us more time to prepare and hopefully the restrictions will be uh, less uh, restrictive uh, at that time uh, later on this summer. Of course, and again, we're just praying for God's wisdom on, on those things and what we do and how we do those things. So again, I uh, hope you're doing well. Look forward to seeing you again on Sunday. Take care.